I'm Sherry, um, Troy's niece. This particular outfit is the uh, xenomorph, alien xenomorph, that he's constructed of scraps and recycled bits and pieces of trash. People know him as that alien guy. But let me introduce you to the man behind the costume, Troy Fontaine. Troy used to work in the prop department in Vancouver on many large TV and movie sets. He has since moved back to Winnipeg and has found a unique way of gathering materials for his projects. I kind of got the idea from uh, uh, special effects uh, units. You gotta find things, you gotta get to be creative, right? Find anything and just whatever to make the detail. I'd cut it this way and glue it and make it as a, as a calve. Like, like that, for my predator. I'm building a costume of the, the predator. Now here's the cannon. If you look very closely, that's a salt and pepper shaker. With the little, uh, you know, it gives me a swivel. It's very loose, but it still grips. So when I point, I, 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 it gives it that swivel, like where I can move. It almost looks like anim animatronics. Oh, come on, work for me. Now that Troy's been living at my Aunt Rena's, I've been visiting more often. Of the characters. I really appreciate his process and all the effort he puts into his art. So, so the bottom of the juice bottle is right there, and I cut off, I cut off the the whole lid part. Um, but because of his love for found materials. Things can get quite interesting for my aunt. What's a typical day in your house with, like, Troy? He was talking about the predator needing a weapon that was, like, um, blades. And all of a sudden I looked and my fan blade was missing. You know, this, is, this is an old fan, which I stole from my sister. Where's the fan? She goes, oh, well, uh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Where the, ah! Oh, he's so comical. Like, it's hard to get mad at someone who's just, you know, destroyed your, your, your plates. <laughs> I'm getting too short for my age. Like, people throw these away. But I see my imagination going ballistic. Because I had no toys as a kid. I make new toys. I'm making for the new toys. So if you look very closely on that, on that uh, piece, exactly the same. If you're working on a project and you have zero budget, why not find materials? It's, it's, it's a shame that people don't use these materials to try and create art. Art is, is one of the most important things. Art and imagination is the most important things on this planet Earth. I have a saying, if a human can build it, so can I. I'm inspired by Troy's fearlessness and passion to entertain. The confidence he has out in public is fascinating. I could only wish that people appreciate all the effort he puts into each costume. <laughs>